Guys, the wait is finally over. Xiao is here. Xiao's the first 5-star animal main TPS character that MiHoYo released and whoa, he does not disappoint. In this video, I'm going to be going over his talents, artifacts, weapons, combat tips, and lastly just some generic team comps. But before I get into all of that, I just want to say a few things. The channel has grown by so much over the last little while and I really can't thank you guys enough. With that being said, once the channel does hit 5k subscribers, I want to give something back to you guys. I'll be doing a giveaway for a few battle passes and a lot of Blessing of Welcome Moons. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get the latest updates on how you can join the giveaway. In addition to that, I have a small giveaway happening in my Discord server right now, so definitely go and check that out too. The link is in the description below. With all that being said guys, smash that like button and let's get the Shao Showcase started. Xiao is an extremely unique character as he brings a completely different playstyle with his quick dashes and plunge attacks. Xiao is also the first character in this game that requires a new character level up material in order to ascend. This can be found from the new world boss, the Primo Geo Fishships. Similar to Diluc, Xiao gains crit rate whenever he ascends, which is really great in boosting his overall damage. To start, let's take a look at his talents. Xiao's normal attack, Whirlwind Thrust, is his bread and butter. This is where the bulk of his damage is going to come from. His normal attack is a 6 hit chain and he has the standard charge attack. However, Xiao has an added effect with his plunge attack. Whenever Xiao performs a plunge attack, he will not take any fall damage. When you are leveling up this talent, Xiao will gain damage on every type of attack there is. Moving on, let's take a look at his elemental skill. guys. This is one of the funnest and coolest elemental skills in this game. Without any constellations, this skill has two charges when activated. Xiao will lunge forward, dealing animal damage to opponents in his path. This skill can also be used in the air, which is just so neat. It makes Xiao extremely mobile and allows him to navigate through the battlefield with ease. The skill has a pretty high damage multiplier, so with two charges, this is going to deal some pretty nice burst damage to your enemies. It's just such a versatile skill. You can use it as a gap closer, as a burst, or even use it to get yourself out from a nasty situation. Each charge is going to have a cooldown of 10 seconds, and when you level up the talent, the skill is going to deal a lot more damage. Xiao's Elemental Burst is extremely unique. It is the first elemental burst in the game where by sacrificing your HP, you're going to get so much stronger. With this elemental burst activated, Xiao's jumping ability is going to increase, his attack AoE and attack damage are going to increase as well. And lastly, all of his attacks are going to be converted to animal damage. However, if you decide to change your character while this elemental burst is active, the effects of the skill is going to end immediately. 
When you level up this talent, the talent is going to gain more damage, and with every three level ups, you will drain 0.5% less HP than the previous rank. With such a long duration of 15 seconds on its own to burst, and with such a short cooldown of 18 seconds, it is possible to have a pretty high uptime on the skill. However, the elemental burst does have a high energy cost of 70. Now, if you guys are wondering which talents to level up first, well, you want to prioritize his normal attacks because that's where the bulk of his damage comes from. After that, I would choose his elemental burst, and lastly, his elemental skill. Moving on, let's take a look at his passive talents. So Xiao's first passive talent is Conqueror or Evil, Tamer of Demons. While Xiao is under the effects of his elemental burst, all damage dealt by him is going to be increased by 5% every 30 seconds. This can go up to a maximum of 25%. This is a pretty crazy passive talent. It is going to give Xiao so much more damage while his elemental burst is active. Alright, so Xiao's second passive talent increases the damage of subsequent elemental skills by 15%. The effect of this is going to last for 7 seconds and has a max of 3 stacks. Whenever Xiao gains a new stack, the effect duration is going to be refreshed. This passive talent is pretty awesome. It's going to give Xiao a lot more burst when he's maneuvering around the battlefield with this elemental skill. So to make the most out of this, you would use Xiao's elemental skill once and then wait 6 seconds and then cast it again and repeat over and over again. By doing this, you can maintain 3 stacks at all times, so it is definitely recommended to space out his elemental skills instead of just using them all at the same time. Xiao's last passive talent is the best one yet. This passive talent is what makes him borderline OP. guys. Climbing stamina consumption is going to be reduced by 20%. This is unreal. Just think about how many times you've almost reached the top of the cliff, but then you ran out of stamina and you fell all the way back down. This passive talent is going to change everything. And if you couldn't tell I'm joking here, well, I am. But either way, this is still a pretty useful passive talent. It's better than like gang use passive talent where she refunds ores when she's crafting bowls. Next, let's talk about constellations. So if you guys have been following my channel and watching my other character guides, I typically base my character guides at C0. This guide is still based around C0 Xiao, but personally, I wanted to unlock C1 just because it has so many added benefits. So let's start with that. C1 is going to grant an additional charge to Xiao's elemental skill. This doesn't seem like it's that much of a game changer, but guys, it is. With an extra charge of his elemental skill, Xiao gains so many benefits from that. He gets more burst damage, more uptime on his passive talent, more mobility, and the most important one of all, he's going to get more energy recharge to regenerate for himself so he can get his elemental burst off easier. C1 is such a huge power spike for him. Of course, it is not needed, but regardless, it is such an amazing first constellation. Moving on, we have C2. This constellation is going to increase Xiao's energy recharge by 25% while he's not on the field. This is pretty mediocre in my opinion. Since Xiao is the main DPS character, it's not often that he's going to be sitting off of the field. The only time that this happens is when you're using your character to set up their skills and support for him. So really, it's a pretty whatever constellation. C3 is a standard stuff, it's going to increase his elemental skill by 3 levels, and with C4, whenever Xiao's HP falls below 50%, he's going to gain a 100% defense bonus. This is another okay constellation, nothing amazing. When you're using Xiao's elemental burst, you should have some sort of protection on him anyways, so he doesn't die while using it. This does help with that, but if you have the right party members, you really don't need this constellation at all. C5 is going to increase his elemental burst level by 3. And lastly guys, C6 is the game changer. With C6, whenever Xiao's elemental burst is active, and if he hits at least two opponents with his plunging attack, he's going to get one more charge of his elemental skill, and for the next second following, he can use this while ignoring its cooldown. This is crazy! So pretty much Xiao's burst combo completely changes with this, instead of repeatedly spamming his plunged attack, he's going to plunge attack once, then use two elemental skills, then he will go back to his plunge, and this is going to be a rinse and repeat until his elemental burst is over. This is such a great constellation, and such a huge power spike for him. So guys, if you are thinking about getting constellations for Xiao, I would only go for C1 or for C6, nothing really in between. Enough about constellations, let's move on and talk about artifacts. For artifacts, you want to run two pieces of the Fair Distant Veneer and two pieces of the Gladiator. The main stats you're looking for is attack percentage on Sands, animal damage on Goblet, and crit damage on Crown. In terms of substats, you're going to want to prioritize crit rates, then crit damage, attack percentage, energy recharge, and elemental mastery last. If you have under 40% crit rates, I would suggest running a crit rate crown instead of a crit damage crown. So, 
Some people are also going to ask the question, why not run the full 4 pieces of Fair Distant instead? Well, the answer is that is because Swirl damage is going to be very little, unless you're stacking Elemental Mastery for your character. And with the second effect of the Fair Distant set bonus, you won't be making use out of that since Animal Element is only going to be your main source of damage. There is another build that I wanted to experiment with in the future, and that is going to be the full 4 piece of Lava Walker. However, this would make running a pyro character on the team like Bennett mandatory. If you aren't at the point of the game where you can get good fairy distant pieces, running 4 pieces of Glad or 2 piece from Gladiator and then 2 piece from Berserker is going to be fine as well. Moving on, let's talk about weapons. So the best weapon for Xiao in my opinion is going to be the Primordial Jade Winged Spear. Everything about this weapon is going to be perfect for him. The base crit rate, the high base attack, and the on-hit attack percentage damage as well as the max damage of 12% buff is going to be real nice. Crit rates on this weapon really makes prioritizing crit damage a lot easier for his artifacts. The next weapon is going to be the Black Cliffs Polearm. This weapon cycles on and off in the Paimon shop and it is a strong contender for being the best weapon for Xiao. Crit damage as a secondary base stat is insane. My only issue with this weapon is that for it to get the maximum amount of damage possible, you do need to kill a few enemies first, which makes this weapon very weak for bossing. The Skyward Spine is what I would recommend next. Even though the Skyward Spine gives energy recharge as a secondary base stat, this can still be extremely useful for Xiao and helping him maintain his ultimate. The crit rates from his weapon is quite, quite nice too, and the on-hit effect is quite solid as well. For 4-star weapons, there's not a lot of good choices here. The deathmatch from the battle pass is probably going to be the best one yet. If you are looking for a craftable weapon, I would go with the prototype Star Glitter over the Crescent Pike. The prototype Star Glitter gives energy recharge as a secondary stat, and whenever you use Shao's until skill, you can gain more damage to your normal and charged attacks. The Crescent Pike and the Dragon Spine Spear are not good options because they give physical damage as a secondary stat. This is going to be wasted because the majority of damage that Xiao deals is animal. Unless you plan on building Xiao a physical DPS, but like why would you do that in the first place? You're just going to be handicapping the character. The Faithonius Lance can actually be another great choice. With Xiao's high base crit rates, you're going to be generating quite a bit of elemental power calls for yourself and this is going to be great in maintaining Xiao's elemental burst. And lastly, if you are struggling and you don't have any of these listed weapons, then I would go with the 3-star weapon, the White Tassel. Okay, so here are just some general gameplay tips for Xiao. When you're using him in combat, try not to use your elemental skill back to back unless you have C6 unlocked. Space them out, and that's going to maximize the uptime on Xiao's passive talent. There's some pretty cool stuff they can do with Xiao too. If you jump and then use his elemental skill, you can do a plunge attack right afterwards. So knowing that, uh, what you can do is that you can uh, go into your normal attack chain, and then the last normal attack that Xiao does actually knocks his opponents up into the air. You can follow this up with a jump into a dash and then a plunge afterwards. However, like this is not always going to be ideal because if you're somewhere where there's uneven terrain, sometimes you won't even be able to do the plunge attack at all. The next tip that I want to give to you guys is that you need to make sure that you use your other character's heals and support skills before you use Shell's elemental burst. Make sure he is in a good position where you don't need to rely on your other characters. The last thing that you want to do is to activate Shell's elemental burst, only realizing that you need to use your other character's elemental skills instead. This is going to completely waste Shell's elemental burst because it goes away as soon as you swap him out for another character. The last tip that I'm going to share here is going to be a tip that increases his DPS. So instead of plunging to the ground when Xiao is at his highest peak, it is better to plunge as soon as you can, and as often as you can. Even though Xiao gains more damage from plunging at a really high point, the time spent on traveling is not really worth the damage. This actually results in the DPS loss. So yeah, like I said, s spam your plunge attack as soon as you can and at the lowest point possible, because by doing this, you're going to really maximize his plunge DPS. Lastly, I'm just going to go over some teams for Xiao. First of all, I will show you guys what my main Xiao team is right now. So I am running Xiao, Bennett, Zhongli, and Albedo. Now that we are in 1.3, double shield team bonus is so, so, so good. With that too, Zhongli got a huge buff worth it where his shield will actually reduce enemies' elemental resistance and physical resistance. This is going to give Xiao the survivability he needs and that extra added damage to all of his attacks. Albedo is in here to help, to help maximize Xiao's damage when Xiao doesn't have his elemental burst active. And lastly, Bennett is just doing what Bennett it does best he is here to provide heals and his huge attack buff now i know that this is a pretty well team so here are some alternatives for players who don't want to run geo characters you can run something like this 
having an animal character can be beneficial in providing Xiao more energy and also giving him that two animal character bonus buff. You can swap Sucrose up for Jean or Fenty or even the Wind Traveler. However, it is extremely important to have a dedicated healer on your team. So if you don't have Jean or like even Bennett, then you can use Barbara. Ultimately, you want to pair Xiao up with characters who can provide a lot of off-field support and have skills that linger on the field. So sub-DPS characters like Fischl, Shan Ling are really good too. A pure free-to-play team would look something kind of like this. As always guys, if you have any questions about team building, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And I actually have another video on my channel just talking about these characters and why they are so great to use along with Xiao. Well, other than that guys, that sums up my guide here for Xiao. I hope this was helpful in guiding you and building and using Xiao. He is definitely such a strong character and he is a character worthy of your hard earned primo gems. With that being said, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will continue to make more guide videos like this one here today for upcoming characters. Again, as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will be doing a huge giveaway at 5k subs. So go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed and check out the Discord for smaller giveaways and for more info. Other than that guys, good luck in your summons if you are going to be wishing for Xiao. I will see you on the next video though. Peace out.